Hi third graders, it's Mrs. Farrell. I hope everybody's doing well at home. Uh, I thought it would be fun while we're all home to do some number talks every day. So what I'll do is I'll post a video every day that has a number talk in it. And uh, unfortunately I can't listen to all of your thinking and your strategies, but I do have two of my boys here who are gonna help me. So Patrick is a third grader. He's gonna help out with the second and third grade number talks and Jack is a kindergartner, and he's going to go ahead and help me out with the kindergarten and first grade number talks. Um, what I would love to do as we you know, get going with this is if you guys want to chime in, if you want to share your strategies with me, um, just have your parents email me at Courtney.Farrell at CUSD200.org and let me know that you would love to share your strategy, and maybe we could work out a way to do a Google Hangout so you can call in and share your strategy while we're doing a number talk here. Um, so this is my little makeshift classroom here. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a problem up on the board. Today for third grade, we're gonna start with a triple digit addition problem just to get our brains flowing. And um, you guys can pause the video at any time so that you have some think time and think about how you would solve the problem. Then we'll listen to Patrick's strategy. I'll share a strategy as well. And then um, you know, see if you agree with us. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first problem Patrick's gonna help us solve today is 135 plus 219. Okay, so again, you can pause it now if you wanna have some think time. Otherwise, we're gonna have Patrick share his strategy because I think he's ready. He's got his thumb up, he's ready to go. All right, Patrick, what did you do to solve this? So first I did nine plus five is 14. How did the you know? I knew that 9 plus 5 is 14 was because 10 plus 5 is 15 and 9 is is 1 below 10 so it's t so it's 15 minus 1 is 14. Then I did 30 no. I took a 10 away from the 14 and put it and put it in to the 30 and I did so here's your 30. 30, 30 okay. plus 10 plus 10. That's another 10, okay. Equals 50. And then okay. I added 100 plus 200 equals 300. So the answer is 354. And how did you know that? Because it, it said 300 plus 54 plus 4, and that's expanded form of 350. Okay, so here, this was what was left from our 14, right, after we took out that 10. So then you added your 1s, your 10s, and your 100s together to get 354. Okay, my strategy was, I was thinking of it um, more on a number line. I was thinking if I had started at 219 on a number line, and then if I jumped 100... If I added 100 on my number line, that would take me to 319. Then I thought, what if I added 30 to that? That would get me to 349. And then I just had five more to go. So when I jump five at the end, one, two, three, four, five, that gets me to 354. So we had the same sum at the end, didn't we? Okay, third graders, um, so think about your strategy. Maybe you had something similar, maybe something a little different, um, but hopefully uh, you did some great mental math today. Bye. <laughs>